Hey, Justin here. Just wanted to start off by saying I apologize for the delay in the video. It was a little longer this week. I had some larger files and, well, it took a while to process. I'm still learning, but, you know. Anyway, let's get ready. You've returned! Thank you! Thank you for coming back to the Psychedelic Gaming Channel. Today we'll be hopping in my Minecraft Forever World, and, uh, well, I am looking forward to it. Looks like we're gonna have to go to sleep, though, so uh, I guess let's head on over. While I'm heading over, let's, uh, talk. I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much for the uh, support on all the videos. I really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate every like, comment, you know, uh, subscribe, everything that you guys are doing. I that's amazing. I really appreciate it. And uh, right now, if you have the time, I wouldn't appreciate it if you go down and leave a like below. Thank you. And, well, leave a comment. Tell me how your week's going. I, I'd love to know. Anyway, so we're going to hop into it. And uh, as, I, as I've as uh, i thought about, I'm going to work on this church and finish up the exterior. I'm not going to worry about too much of the... Uh, the staircase or the interior just yet just because it requires a lot of redstone stuff and uh, I'm a little shy on my redstone box at the moment so uh, we're gonna get some iron and stuff soon enough and uh, hopefully that'll be a fun project coming up soon I'd love to see what project you'd like me to work on if you watch my world tour mode you should be able to see some of the projects I have going so it'd be cool to uh, see what you guys would like to see next that would be uh, appreciated Anyway, so we're going to hop into it. Like I said, we just got to get some resources. I, I cleaned out my resources since our world tour there, flying around and so on. So we're going to hop in and uh, fill up our inventory. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, I filled up my uh, inventory here. We got all the resources necessary for uh, for the build. Um, and yeah, we're going to get to her to uh, let you know. Uh, another rack I usually use is my scaffolding. I'm, I'm pretty old school when it comes to that. Oops, I forgot me some of this. We're gonna grab the scaffolding because I use it as my ladders to get up, and then I just branch off with the, uh, the which we call it. But I think we'll we'll start her here. Oh, I can't. I can't do that. All right, let's hop into it. <laughs>
Got to go get some ink sacks. Uh, Got to get for the glass up top. So I will be back. Welcome back. We got the ink. Let's make the glass and get going. Alrighty, we are back, and wow, we did the exterior, it looks amazing, in my opinion, it's, uh, yeah, all done, we got all the texturing in, all that, we put all the windows in, add in, oh, add in a few uh, things here and there, um, these I just need to get chains for, and I'm going to put some soul, stand, or soul lanterns on, make it look kind of cool, uh, the back and stuff I kind of finished up. Uh, did some texturing here. Um, I wasn't sure about the roof of this. I might change it up in the future. Put some texturing in there. Like uh, that's all crimson wood logs on its side. So I, I think I might maybe throw some stripped and planks and all that just to give some texture to it. But we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the uh, the. The build. I'm extremely happy how it turned out, and I like the the well. I'm I'm iffy about the windows, so again, I would like like it in the comments if you can let me know what you think of the windows and if I should change them up or do something something else. 
that'd be great. I wanted to do like a church theme, you know, fancy window type thing, but you know, I don't know. It's Minecraft. You can't. You're limited. <laughs> anyway, so with that being said, let's uh, get ready to jump into a house. I was just gonna build up a house, and I'll I'll build it up with you guys, and we'll talk through. I'm not too sure of a design just yet. I'm not sure which house I want to do either. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, finding one that we could work with. I'm thinking I will do the top of the bridge here and uh, get like a little bridge master's house going on for when we put in the bridge. Maybe that will be next episode of the bridge. <laughs> anyway, all right, so yeah, let's hop into it. Uh, I think I need, yeah, I need some resources. So let's, uh, let's go get resources and I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it took a little longer than expected. Halfway through that, my elytra broke and uh, had to go and repair it so I got all that repaired all that repaired some of my tools and I'm good to go yay all right so let's get started on this house um, so good thing to grab whenever you're dealing with wool is shears to make your life a little easier when it comes to breaking these down so I'm gonna break the the wool frame down here but I want to keep the shape uh, generally for framing I like to use wood uh, like oak wood or spruce wood and I like to frame out my builds first. That's that's my first step. <laughs> um, so normally I do like a little layer here to give a basic idea of what I kind of want. Um, but you know, I, I change my mind quite frequently, so <laughs> so we might uh, do the same in a second. We'll just uh, find this out and see. I want to keep the relatively the same shape, so I'm just going to place these down and uh, go like that. Yay! Alright. So, take all this wool out. Oh, let's get that piece down. Yeah, as I said before, a pet peeve of mine if it, is it like not being fully on the ground. So I'm going to have to delete, not delete, uh, take out the the dirt underneath and uh, replace that with um, replace that with the wood like this. I like it when it goes down like that. So alrighty, let's get all this blue wool out and we're, we're out and we're, we're golden. We got a little extrusion here, so that's where the uh, doorway is going to be. So. Since we're getting closer to the castle or kingdom, this is where there's going to be a bit, great big wall around this island area. Um, that's where the castle's going to be. So we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to put that there. So well, as we get up closer, we're going to be a lot nicer materials, not like the cobblestone or whatnot that's in the foundation of the other ones. We're going to keep using the more high-end stone brick and try to make it look like it was, you know, cared about when it was built. <laughs> Let's get rid of uh, that. Place this guy down here. Okay. So I'm just going to do the foundation real quick. And we'll be right back. Foundations built. We got a nice little. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> got a nice little foundation. That was uh, frustratingly. Uh... No, I did it again. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. No. All right. So we got that foundations down. So now we start off by building up the walls. But again, I always like to do my frames first. So we're gonna build this up. I know right now it's a little sporadic and uh, doesn't make too much sense like why we're doing what we're doing, but I'm just trying to make the space. I'm gonna do like a little crafting area here, a little staircase or something back in the corner. Maybe make a little thing, a little maybe a little second story on this side. 
uh, and a nice little shallow thing here. Nothing too fancy. This guy is supposed to watch the gate, so we don't want him. Whatever, I think we'll have a nice little little tiny window here so you can see the, the bridge going by. And then maybe another window here just to see if that there's anybody coming out of the castle or whatnot. Um, and <clears throat> maybe, well, like this is going to be like a little table thing, but maybe like a little booth area here so that way they can like come up and do stuff or whatnot. Maybe make this a little bit, yeah, I might make this a little bit bigger actually. I'll just stretch this out by one. Yeah, I'll stretch this out by one. Why not? Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> So we got we got a zombie apocalypse on our hands. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So now we got this uh, nice little frame here. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay. Sorry. I also heard like the weird horse noise, and that kind of threw me off off guard. So we're gonna place down our crafting table. So that way we can make some wood and. Uh, Let's get a little fancy with the floor, why not? Oh. Oops. Oopsie daisy. And get a little fancy with the floor, do a nice brown border for the outside, and then I'm thinking an oak on the inside. And uh, that should look nice. We might do a basement to it as well. And uh, yeah, so we'll just place that flooring in real quick. Okay, so the walls, the walls, the walls, the walls. Let's do something a little fancy and go like this. And then go like that. And then go like that. And then go like this. And then go like this. Then go like this. Yeah, I like it. Nice little fancy. Uh, design so let's do that for the rest of the walls like this so it's like a little booth area here and then we'll put a chair here and this will be his little little area for taking uh, taking down notes and so on all right so now let's think about more of the design so be a nice corner window there so we'll do that we'll have to have a little little sticky up bit here Okay, so let's pillar up and get started on the second story frame and uh, the roofing of the first story.
So all my other roots have this like accenty color. So it's either the dark or the, the thing. Um, this one has a lot of darkness to it, so if we brought some of that stone texture and brought it up here, maybe using the stone brick. Yeah, I'm gonna do the stone brick and the spruce. Hopefully that's enough, I believe so. It's not the largest house in the world, so. And perfect, landed right on the roof. Okay, so let's get going. Uh just finishing up the house now uh, we got it pretty pretty much done we just got the windows to put in so I'm about to do that right now and uh, yeah I don't know why I'm walking there but I am um, yeah I really like how this this house kind of turned out it's it's small and uh, different so that's that's what we were going for <laughs> anyway <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, so let's make this one clear. This guy lightly stained. And that one open to make it feel like you're. I was thinking stained glass, the gray one here. There we go. Nothing there. And uh, let's make, make this one. Yeah, let's get that that church in there. So we'll make this one a three high, and keep it with that. Yeah, I'm not really liking this right now. We'll just keep going with the gray. And up here, and this is my bedroom, so let's keep it tinted. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh, awesome. Okay, so we got a nice little little house here. All ready to go a nice little lookout for the window that's not here either oops damn 
All right, let's just take a final final fly around to see that we're we're okay with everything. Might put a furnace or something in here to make it a little maybe an armor stand like a like guard's outfit or something. You know what I mean? Like right here, yeah, guard's outfit or something there. Oh, geez, I forgot. I forgot the most important thing. It's a door. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's all all done. Got all our windows in. Got some nice stained glass up the top to keep our privacy for night. And uh, we got glass there, and everything's all good. This can be an awning coming out. This is like where the people pay for to get across into the kingdom. And uh, that's the castle part. Um, so yeah, we, we do good. It's a nice little house. I, I kind of like it. Um, not a, a lot of different thoughts and stuff like that. My process to building houses is it's different. <laughs> Needs to be worked on for sure. But in the end, I, I kind of like the outcomes I get. You know, I get what I kind of ideally want. All right, so let's sleep in our house. Our very, very first sleep in this house. Oh, that's the other thing that we should probably do. Let's put some torches so we don't die. <laughs> so let's empty the inventory and get ready for the next phase. Alrighty, we are back and I got some nice, uh, nice materials to make this tree. I like the tree. Might throw some vines on there, but I really like the tree. Later on, these vines will grow, and uh, I have to take string afterwards and just kind of break it, so that way they don't grow ridiculously long. And with the completion of this tree, and the house, and well, the church, that pretty much sums up this episode. If you've been around, you stuck around to the end. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I would actually, if you are here, I would love your opinion. What do you think I should do with my world next? What, what project do you think I should work on? Should I start a new project? What, what's your opinion? I, I would really enjoy some feedback. Um, that being said, next week I'll be back on the hardcore world. So I'm looking forward to that. And the week after that I'll be back on this. So I have two weeks. Two weeks to let me know. Okay? Anyway, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks. Have a great day. And well, let's go.